Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss shift rows in AES algorithm, topic of network security. Now, overall structure of AES encryption process shown in figure. In this figure, you can show plain text and add round key is the input of the different encryption round and after completion of uh, all encryption round, it generates cipher text. Uh, in AES, size of key and plain text must be same and also generated cipher text size must be same as plain text size because AES uses block cipher technique. AES con consists of multiple round of encryption using different key size. If uh, you want to encrypt data uh, uh, using 128 bit key, so you have to perform 10 round of encryption. If you use 192 bit key, it performs 12 round of encryptions and 256 bits key it performs 14 round of encryption now in this figure you can see over here this is the plain text add round key and different round of encryption over here and this is the last round of encryption for encryption each round consists of following four steps first one is substitution bytes in substitution bytes uh, bytes or we can say given number will be uh, replaced with other number or letters using S box during the encryption process or during decryption process you must have to use uh, inverse S box to substitute given number or letters. Second one is shift rows. Uh, shift rows it is also called permutation or we can say it is the transposition. Third one is mix columns. Fourth one is add round keys. So above steps are called AES transformation function. So this four, uh, round, uh, four steps are called AES transformation function. Now discuss shift row transformation. The shift row transformation is called shift rows or we can say permutation of the given numbers or letters. <coughs> uh, rules of shifting of rows. Now you can see over here. Uh, this is our uh, stat array or we can say our stat matrix. Now shifting of rows is applied over here. Now this is uh, the rules. Row 1 there is no shifting. Now you can see this is S00, S01, S02 and 03. So same it is over here. 00, S01, S02 and 03. Row 2 one byte left shift or we can say this is not a simple left it is circular left shift. So now you can see S10 is reached over here or we can say at the last. So now you can check S11 it's shift left shift S12 S13 and S10 it's circular left and put over here. Row 3 2 byte left circular shift. Now you can check over here 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 it means 2 2 comes over here and 2 3 comes over here. Now check 2 2 2 3 and 2 0 2 1 as circular left shift put over here and row 4. 3 byte left shift now you can see 3 0 3 1 3 2 3 3 now 3 3 comes at the first position now check 3 3 then circular left shift it is 3 0 3 1 and 3 2 now uh, this is one example in this example you can see over here uh, this is one matrix is given now shifting of rows now you can check first row is as it is now second row uh, this yellow mark f2 will be come over here at the last position now check and the remaining bits will be shifted left shift now this is two byte left shift in third row and this is three byte left shift or we can say left circular shift in last row in inverse transformation or we can say sorry in, in inverse uh, shift inverse shift row so it performs a right hand side uh, circular shift so the inverse shift row transformation called inverse shift rows performs the circular shift in the opposite direction. Opposite direction means we can say it is in the right, uh, right direction. So for each of the last three rows which one byte circular right shift for the second row and so on. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Baloria. Follow my blog edu resources. Thank you.